I'm excited to share with you a method that you can use today and anytime you want to accomplish a task that you're procrastinating on or you want to kind of plan, make plans on a dream to make progress on a dream. So the method is simple. It's three letters. It's, it uh, spells out act. So that's nice. When you're taking action, you can remember when you want to act, you can remember this uh, ACT. A stands for attitude, C stands for chunking, and T stands for timing. So let me explain how this works. A for attitude, because whatever you're wanting to start working on, it's a good idea to check in about your attitude regarding that, that goal or that project or that task. Because a lot of times if you come to a project with, oh, I gotta get this done, you know, there's no need to live your life like that. There's no need to live your life just going from one, I got to get this done to another, I got to get this done. You can live your life in joy. You can literally be in joy all the time. But of course, it takes practice. And that's what mindfulness is all about. That's what my energy reboot is what I do to come back to joy all the time you know, whatever I'm doing, like this video, right before I did this video, I did my attitude check-in by using my energy reboot. And if you don't know my energy reboot, you can Google it. Uh, thankfully, I'm ranking pretty high these days. If you Google energy reboot, you'll find my blog post in one of the, one of the top results. So attitude, start coming to the task or the project by checking in with your attitude first and repair your attitude as needed to come to joyful action, good energy, instead of, oh, I gotta do this, or, oh, I'm so, I don't know if this is gonna work, or I don't know how I'm gonna do it. You know, all those negativity, fear, doubt, uncertainty, not needed for anything. Even if I'm asking you, go to the moon, you don't have to go, oh, I can't do it, it's impossible. It's like, well, let me, if I really, really, really wanna go to the moon, let me believe in myself first, let me believe in the, the, the power of science. Let me, you know, let me have faith in the higher power that get me there. You know, start with a possibility. Start with an attitude of I can do this if I do it step by step. So that brings us to the C, which is chunking. That's the next step in the ACT method. A is for attitude. C for chunking. Chunking is the simple idea that you can do anything you really want to do. You can accomplish your dreams step by step, day by day. I should flip that around. You can accomplish your dreams day by day, step by step. Anything. Now, most of us don't want to go to the moon, but most of us want to create a successful business. So you can create a successful business step by step. It really is. It's, that's how you do it. Okay. Anything that's large or small, you can chunk down. So let me, let me start with a small example and then I'll go to a larger example. So uh, when I was writing this blog post associated with this video, it, when I come to a, when I ever, whenever I start writing, I have fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Okay, it's, it's, it's normal whenever I start to do any creative project, whether it's writing or creating an online course or you know, brainstorming about my, how to improve my group program or whatever it may be, it's natural for me to feel on fear, uncertainty and doubt. And so of course I do my energy reboot. So I repair my relationship to that project. I, I repair my attitude about the project and then now I chunk it down. So for example, writing the blog post, I, I chunk down to say, okay, I have a blank screen here. I don't know what I'm gonna say. I don't know whether this is gonna become a blog post. I have no idea how it's gonna work out but let me chunk it down. Okay, let me write down what the specific steps are. Okay, step one, uh, I'll just brainstorm three ideas that I might wanna add in this blog post, three ideas. Okay, I'm just gonna brainstorm three ideas. The second step would be um, using these three ideas, I'm gonna quickly write an imperfect draft. Okay, that's step two. And then step three, I will take a break. Okay, step four, I will come back and edit the imperfect draft into something readable. Step five is to publish it, right? So whatever it is you want to do, it, chunking is such an unnatural way of, for us to think. The reason why many of us procrastinate on anything 
is because the project in front of us or the even the single task in front of us is actually really big in our head. We just don't realize it's really big. That's why we're not doing anything with it because it's not baby step enough for us to do something with it. It's too big in our head. And so chunking is not a natural process. It's a practice that you need to do frequently until it becomes more natural for you. For now, now it's natural for me. Now I'm, I have this instinct. Okay, I'm procrastinating on something. That means because it's too big in my head. So I have to write down the very specific steps. And any step that I write down, if I feel any kind of fear with that step, oh, that means I have to chunk that step down into even smaller baby steps. That's it. Anything you want to do, you can accomplish if you chunk it down, truly. So anything you are not making progress on, you just need to chunk it down. And, and please don't just chunk it down in your head. I think we keep too much in our head. It really helps me to chunk it down on writing. I open up a blank document and I start typing, what are the small steps I could take forward on this project? And it doesn't have to be in the right order. And let me just brainstorm what the steps, what the steps might be. And then I can order, I can make then reorder the steps into a more logical way. Okay. So chunk it down just means write down whatever small steps you think might be associated with this task or project. And then you can reorder the steps into something more logical. And as you write down the steps, you're going to have ideas for other steps. Oh yeah, maybe I should do this first. Oh yeah, maybe I should also do this. And then you can reorder the steps into, okay, now this is the first thing. Okay, the first thing gives me uh, some intimidation. Uh, I'm procrastinating. Okay, let me chunk it down even further. So that's how chunking works. So that's the, that's the C and ACT. Attitude, chunking, and then timing. Okay, timing is where, what the T stands for. And timing is basically taking those chunks you have and putting some time boundaries on it. So if it's a small thing, okay, if it's a small uh, task, like writing a blog post, right? It's, it's not a lifelong project. It's just a, something you do in an hour or two or three. If it's a small task, then timing means you time each step approximately. So you give yourself some boundaries so that you're not writing a single blog post for, for you know, 12 hours. You're, you're hopefully writing a blog post in one hour or two hours, maybe three hours. So maybe the first step of let's say I was chunking it down and the first step in the writing of a blog post is to brainstorm three ideas that I might want to write in the blog post. So that I would put, okay, uh, brainstorm three ideas for five minutes or for 10 minutes. So I write down 10 minutes, okay? Second step, draft, uh, create an imperfect, quick imperfect draft. So how long will I give myself to do that? Let's say 30 minutes, okay? Okay, and then next step, take a break. I write down five minutes. And then come back, edit the draft into something readable. Let's say it'll take me 20 minutes. Okay. So I write down these things so that I can, I can be more awake and, and I can set a timer. If it helps to, to me, it helps me to set a timer so that I can see that, okay, I've got five minutes. Let's, let's, let's go roll up the sleeves. Let's play this game called life. And let's play this because games, you know, I look at, I look at everything as a game. I look at, I look at life as a giant video game. I, I've said this before, but I really do think that we are actually playing a giant video game. Spirit is playing this video game through this avatar, you know, called the physical body. And we're here to learn virtue. You know, that's the, the points we're racking up is virtue, basically. Courage, persistence, love, humility, forgiveness, compassion, kindness, patience, faith, all that stuff. And we're just using everything we do as a way to build virtue. Writing a blog post replacing, you know, re repairing our attitude about writing the blog post, we just grown in virtue, point one, you know, point one growth, right? So, 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 so like when I'm writing a blog post, right? Okay, five minutes to brainstorm three ideas. Great, let's set a timer for five minutes. All right, let's go, let's, let's play this game. Let's try to brainstorm whatever we can. So I really do everything as a game. Building my business is a game too. It's like, okay, I'm gonna launch an online course. This is a game. Let's see what, what are the steps that's, let's, I believe I can do this. I, you know, I, I, I'm grateful and I, I'm grateful and I bring love to this opportunity for growth and, you know, I pre repair my relationship to this project first. I chunk down what the steps are and I time myself and say, all right, let's go. Let's, let's make this happen. Let's play this game. It's all going to be good anyway. It's all good anyway. We're just playing a game here with everything we're doing. Um, timing, when it comes to a bigger project, let's say building a business, right? Timing, the, the step for timing means to schedule in what you're going to be doing 
So building a business has lots of different pieces to it. You have to, you know, do some marketing. You have to reach out to client. You know, you have to meet with clients. You have to uh, strategize the business models. Whatever you, you're you're doing for your business, put those into your calendar. Okay, Tuesday at two p.m. I'm going to write uh, write a blog post. You know, Thursday at nine a.m. I'm going to strategize the next steps in my business. You know, and so you 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 put these timing means you schedule things into your calendar so that you'll actually see how it fits into your schedule so that hopefully you'll have a better chance of actually doing it. And when the time, when the time comes on your calendar to do something, what's the mantra? Act, A-C-T. You repair your relationship to that item on your schedule rather than rebelling, go, oh, I don't wanna do this. I don't feel like doing this right now. No, no, no. You can apply act to anything on your calendar. So your calendar says to, says to write a blog post, act. Attitude first, chunk it down. What are the tiny steps for writing a blog post? And then set, set a timer to the steps so that you can play the game for, for doing it. Okay, schedule says to um, start creating your next online course. Okay, that's what the, your schedule says. Okay, act, Re add a good attitude about it. Chunk down, okay, what might be the steps to create my next online course? And then set a timer and then go. Okay, so that's how I do everything. And I, I didn't, I really never put it into this methodology until today, until now. And so you are hearing for the first time a new framework, a new productivity framework, uh, which, you know, maybe, maybe some of you will really find beneficial and maybe lots of people will find beneficial. We'll, we'll see. So whatever it is, big project, act. Attitude, chunk it down into the various steps of the project. And then time, timing is to schedule it into your calendar. Okay. When it comes time to follow your calendar, whatever your schedule says, act, get into a good attitude about that scheduled item, chunk it down into tiny steps, set a timer. So you're more awake and you're more playing the game instead of like, Oh, I got to get this done. Oh, I'm so scared. I won't, this won't work, whatever. No, play the game. Know that everything is going to be okay for you. You're just playing the game. You're experimenting, you're playing, you're, you're, you're doing it with curiosity and with brainstorming and with, and with, um, experimentation. Okay. So um, last thing I'll say is what if you are working on a project and you really don't know what the steps are? Like you're trying to achieve your dreams. I'll use the silly, silly example of, I want to go to the moon, right? It's a moonshot. I want to go to the moon, but I don't know what the steps are. So how do I apply act? Well, you can apply act to everything. So A means, you know, you repair your relationship, you repair your attitude about that vision, that goal, instead of, oh, I can't do it. I'm so scared. Oh, what if other people think I'm a fool? What if, what if uh, I fail miserably and, and have to live on the streets? You know, all the bad attitude about the vision. No, you got to repair your relationship to that vision, okay, that attitude. So you say, you know, do whatever spiritual practice you need or do my energy reasonably practice and say, ah, oh, yes, I can do this. This is, this is you know, something that I can experiment with and learn a lot about, grow as a person along the way. Okay, that's really why we're here, right? So repair your attitude about it. Chunk it down. Again, I don't know how to go to the moon. I don't know anything about rocket science. I don't know, any, I don't know anybody in the industry of you know, as, um, astronautics or whatever you call it. I don't know anybody. I don't, how do I possibly go to the moon? Well, let's chunk it down. First step would be to, you know, I'm going to write this down. First step is to Google... Uh, how to go to the moon. Step one, number one, go to Google, how to go to the moon. Step number two, uh, write down, uh, uh, do half an hour of research on Google, reading different articles on how I might want to go to the moon. Okay, how is it possible to go there? Do I need to start a rocket co company or should I get to know people in rocket companies and maybe, or maybe go get to know people in NASA? Maybe I can ride along or maybe uh, SpaceX has, you know, Richard, I've heard, you know, read an article about how Richard Branson is now, his company is uh, sending people now to the, like individual consumers to the moon. So maybe I can go in that direction. So you read articles for half an hour, you know, step one. Step two is to write down which, which possible methods uh, I'm more interested in researching more of, right? Step three is to spend another half hour researching the most possible method. Step four, you know, and then as you, as maybe that's all I need right now is to those three steps. And then as I do those three steps, I will then chunk it down even further to say, now I know, okay, step four is to now contact Richard Branson's company about how much does it cost to ride alongside to the moon, you know, you know what I mean? So it's, 
it's basically anything you want to do. It doesn't matter if you don't know how to do it. Step one is to go to Google and spend 30 minutes researching, how do I do this? And step two is to take the most possible method, the method that most excites you, and then you'll figure out what the chunking steps are after that. Does that make sense? So anything, anything you wanna do, you can do using ACT. And it's more likely you're doing things that you can actually very likely do, not going to the moon, but build a business is easier than going to the moon, I think. And you can do it, absolutely. Just use the ACT method. And uh, I look forward to hearing how it goes for you. So go ahead and comment below and let me know what you think about this. And if you have any questions, and I'm gonna go ahead and while I'm waiting for you to write any comments below, I am looking at the comments from those who are live with me on, on Facebook right now and seeing uh, what their comments are. And I wanna thank uh, people for joining me here. Let's see who's, who's joining me on this. Shweta and Ida. And um, yeah, Shweta, thank you for summarizing the ACT method and the Ida as well. So thank you so much, everyone. So I hope this is useful to you. I look forward to hearing how you implement this. And um, until the next video, I wish you a great uh, attitude for all of the things that you have on your, on your to-do list and your calendar. Okay, take care.